Today, we're gonna to be breaking down all of my budget categories. I try sharing my story to remind readers that there is a way out. That with hard work, dedication, determination, motivation, it's all about having a plan for your money. And that's what gives you the true control. Holy crap, it just changed my life. And they're like, oh man, Nico. It takes time, it takes dedication, it takes work. But no more credit card debt. Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be breaking down and going over all of my budget categories. Now, one of the main questions I get over and over again is what are my budget categories and what do I spend my money on for those categories? So I am a cash envelope user. I use the budget by paycheck method, which incorporates paying my bills online and then all of my variable spending is paid with cash. I'm an all cash spender, which means I hardly ever swipe my debit card. My checking account is only really used to pay my bills and to accept income into my checking account. The rest of it is all cash. So I wanted to go over today all of my budget categories and what does that mean? That means everything, not just the categories that I use for my cash envelope. So I use six cash envelopes for my budget, but I also use all of these um, budget categories, all of these right here on the side. So I have about 13 budget categories and we're gonna be going through all of these and what I spend my money on for those categories. So let's talk about my food budget. I do have a food cash envelope and my food budget is $400 every single month. I pull out, now before when I was getting paid on the 5th and 20th, I would pull out $200 every single paycheck in cash for my cash envelope. But now that I'm getting one, paid only one time a month, I'm pulling the full 400 out at the beginning every month on the 1st. So this is my food cash envelope. I use it for eating out and grocery costs. I do not have a separate budget for my eating out budget and here's why. We don't have an eating out budget. We eat out and how much we eat out is determined by how low we can keep our grocery costs when we go to the grocery store for groceries for our meal plan. And it's kind of created this fun little challenge for myself. Every time I go to the grocery store, it's always like, I wonder how low I can keep my groceries this time so maybe we can eat out an extra day this week. So eating out is not our priority and we really, that is determined by how much money we have in our budget after we take care of our groceries. So my food budget, eating out groceries, it also includes day-to-day -day spending, whether I stop and get a coffee or maybe I stop and get a soda when I get gas. Anytime any of that little stuff I consider food or eating out. So that's my food budget. My miscellaneous budget, I have a miscellaneous envelope and I do about $100 every single month. It is all cash. I do not keep any of my miscellaneous category inside my checking account. I pull it all in cash, $100 a month. My miscellaneous envelope serves a very specific purpose in my budget. Because I'm an all cash spender, I really need to make sure that I have cash available when unexpected or unplanned expenses come up in my pay periods. So maybe that's maybe a girlfriend calling me to go out for dinner and it's not planned for, but I have my miscellaneous envelope or cash or budget to use for those types of things. Maybe my son gets invited to a birthday party that just kind of came up and we need to go and get a gift. Those types of things. It saves you from using your other savings, like your emergency savings, for things that aren't really an emergency. They're just small wants or unexpected expenses that come up in your pay period. So that's what I use my miscellaneous um, envelope or budget for. My fun, I do have a fun cash envelope, $100 every single month. I pull it all out in cash. My fun envelope is used for fun activities that I do with my son or family or friends. So that could be going out to the park um, with my son. Maybe we stop and get an ice cream on the way there. So that may, a lot of people say, well, wouldn't that be considered a food expense? 
it can go both, go both ways. This is how I categorize my spending. Anytime I'm doing a fun activity, whether it be going to the park with my son or going to the movies and we get popcorn, it's technically a food transaction. However, in my mind and for my budget and my spending, I look at it as a fun expense. We're out doing something fun. So that's what my fun envelope for. It's also for maybe we decide to go on a one day hiking trip and we stop and we get you know snacks for the road or we need you know there's expenses that come up for those types of activities so fun for, with family friends and son that's what my fun expense our budget is for i also pull all of my gas budget i budget about i'm looking at my my budget right here my gas is $175 for my gas and car budget. Now here's where things get a little bit crazy. So I budget $150 every single month and you can see my budget right here at the top of my envelope. I pull that out in cash. However, I budget in my, my monthly budget $175. So there's $25 there that's not in cash. I leave it in my checking account because I have a car wash subscription that gets pulled out of my checking account. It's a regular bill. And as I mentioned, I pay my regular bills online. So my gas and car budget is 175, but I only pull out 150 for my cash envelope. And that's strictly for stopping at the gas station for gas. Now I do get a lot of questions, especially since I have a six year old son, I have a little kiddo. Is it hard paying cash having to go inside and pay for me it's not that bad usually i can stop and get gas when my son is at school and i don't have him with me but if you have a lot of kiddos especially young kiddos you might want to think about leaving this category in your checking account so you're not having to take all the kiddos out of the car go in and pay come back out pack them all back into the car it can get kind of crazy doing it that way so that is an option for you, either that or I have a lot of readers who say they use a prepaid gas card and they just put their amount on there and they can't spend more than that. But I do all of my gas um, in cash and then of course my budget of 175, I have that, that car wash subscription as an online bill that I leave in my checking account because I pay my bills online. My beauty envelope. My beauty envelope, everything, um, well, I budget about $165, and you can see it here on my cash envelope. $165 I pull out in cash. That's for my wax and lash appointments. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you are well aware that I do have eyelash extensions, and I do get um, wax every two weeks. Um, and I pay with those types of expenses in cash. Now, my beauty envelope is $200, so I may budget $165 for my cash, but my total body beauty budget is $200. I have um, some other things like my gym membership. My gym membership is, an, is a regular bill for me and automatically comes out of my checking account. I leave that money in my checking account and I have that included in my beauty and health budget. So that's what I use my beauty budget for. The last cash envelope that I use is my household um, envelope or my household budget. I budget $80 um, for my cash envelope, all in cash, for household supplies. Now this is like things like toilet paper, paper towels, dishwasher soap, cleaning supplied, laundry detergent, all of that like when I go to Walmart and I pick that type of, or Costco, I use my cash from my, ca my household cash envelope. But as you can see on my budget here, I have a rent and home budget of $9.30. So I budget $9.30 a month, but my rent $8.25 and I also pull out $80 a month for my cash. So the reason I'm mentioning this is because it's important to know that even though my budget categories here, they have a budget that's different than what I use for my cash envelope sometimes. And that's because I'm including my regular bills that I pay month to month 
they are also organized into my budget categories, which means I have to leave that money in my checking account so I can pay my regular bills online. Now, I do have um, some other categories, budget categories, that aren't included in my cash envelopes. One of those is utilities. So my utilities budget, I budget $380 every month. That's my phone bill. That's my utility bill. That's my Comcast, Spotify, Hulu, Netflix. Those are all included in my utility budget. All of those are regular bills and they come out of my checking account automatically. That's why I don't have a cash envelope for them. I also have um, an insurance budget that I budget $750 every single month. That's another one of those ones where I don't have a cash envelope, but I do have an insurance budget because I have regular bills that fall in that category. It's car insurance, it's health insurance, it's life insurance, it's renter's insurance, everything like that. I like to know as a whole what I spend on insurance costs every single month. And like I said, I budget $750 every month for that. Now I also have a couple of other ones. So let me just read out what my budget categories are. I have food, miscellaneous, car maintenance, fun, utilities, beauty, my son. Now my son is um, one of the ones I don't have a cash envelope for him. His costs, I budget $150 for him every single month. A hundred of that is daycare. Now I only spend $100 a month on daycare because we are very blessed and fortunate to have grandma in our lives and grandma watches my son um, for some of the days where I have to work or um, I can't pick him up from school and that type of thing. So the $100 is to reimburse her for gas and food costs while she has my son. So, and it's not all the time either, which is great because now that I'm working from home and um, we only spend that $100, but the extra $50 every single month that I leave in my checking account for him is for what if like um, he needs a new pair of pants or he has school photos or things like that. I don't have an actual cash envelope for him. It's just in my checking account, but I still track it as I'm spending it on my checking account expense tracker. I have a savings um, category insurance and then I also have a holidays budget category. Now I don't have a specific budget every single month for this category. I do have sinking funds in my envelopes which is included in my savings but when I spend money from those sinking funds or those savings cash that I've saved over the months for that specific holiday I like to track my spending as a holiday expense and here's why. I like to go at the end of the year, probably around the end of December, and look back over the year and figure out exactly how much I spent throughout the uh, year just on holidays. It gives me a good estimation on what to spend the following year. So maybe I'm looking at Christmas. I can go back to my um, expense trackers and my Where Did My Money Go worksheets. Now I use where do my money go worksheets and I have a ton of videos on my YouTube going over my budget recaps explaining these worksheets but it's simply a worksheet that organizes all of my spending into these categories how much I budget every month and how much I actually spend but it's really great to go back and say okay well what did I spend on Christmas last year was it did it work for me do I need to increase it do I need to decrease it and then you can do your estimate and figure out your savings goal for the new year. And that's why I like to have that holidays budget category in my budget. So all of my budget categories for the month might be different than what I pull out for my cash envelopes. It really just depends on my regular bills that I pay online. So that's a breakdown very quickly of all of my monthly budget categories and what I spend the money on. If you found this video helpful, please share it and don't forget to subscribe.